Hey guys, welcome back and today we are going to discuss about nursing diagnosis and care plan for decreased cardiac output. All right. So we'll see the nursing diagnosis first. So I have written three nursing diagnosis. Depend upon the condition of the patient, you can write your uh, nursing diagnosis. So I have written like decreased cardiac output related to altered myocardial contractility as evidenced by hypertension, tachycardia, fatigue, dyspnea, and decreased tissue perfusion. Or you can write by hypertension, tachycardia, dyspnea. All right. Then second one. Decreased cardiac output related to structural disorders. You have to specifically mention the structural disorder that will be in your case sheet or you can get it from the uh, team, okay, from the medical team. So decreased cardiac output related to structural disorders, for example, like cardiomyopathy or aortic disease, any heart disease, okay, cardiomyopathy or aortic stenosis, increased workload as evidenced by hypertension, tachycardia, fatigue, dyspnea, and decreased tissue perfusion. Third one, decreased cardiac output related to increased workload as evidenced by hypertension, okay, tachycardia, fatigue, dyspnea, and decreased tissue perfusion. So as evidenced by the same thing, I've written the symptoms because for all uh, cardiac conditions, uh, definitely you will see all these things, either tachycardia or bradycardia, fatigue, okay. If basically, if myocardial contractility means definitely tachycardia only, you will see, okay increased heart rate okay so the the cardiac output is less here so we have uh, developed the nursing diagnosis like this decreased cardiac output related to altered myocardial contractility as evidenced by hypertension tachycardia fatigue dyspnea and decreased tissue perfusion now we'll see the nursing care plan so while writing your nursing care plan, basically you have to write all these columns, okay, assessment, diagnosis, planning, rational, implementation, evaluation, the same thing I'm repeating like in every videos, okay, so assessment, diagnosis, planning, rational, implementation, and evaluation, all right? So in assessment, what you will write, you will write two things, right? Uh, which are all the things, subjective data and objective data. What is subjective data? what your patient is saying about their situation. What is the patient's complaints or what the patient reported or what the patient experiencing? That is subjective data. What is objective data? What you have observed from that conversation or from the, uh, from the situation, that is objective data. So here I've written the subjective data like this. The patient said that he or she is experiencing chest pain, palpitation, lightheadedness, and the shortness of breath. So they told all these things to me. Then objective data means from the conversation, what I have understood. Okay, the patient looks very dull and tired and variations in the heart rate, pulse rate, blood pressure. Okay, so what you have observed that you have to write there. Then in diagnosis column, the same diagnosis you can write, decreased cardiac output related to altered myocardial contraction as or contractility as evidenced by hypertension, tachycardia, fatigue, dyspnea, and decreased tissue perfusion. Okay, and the goal will be uh, in future tense, right? will be okay the patient will maintain normal cardiac functioning or cardiac output that you can write and next column is what planning always write your planning in the present tense because you are planning it okay so plannings will be in present tense and rationals you can start with two and implementation in past tense because you have done it already okay you're going to do going to do or you already done what you have doing there uh, doing the, uh, there for that particular patient that you are writing in the implementation column and evaluation you are writing the result so the first planning for all the nursing care plans first planning is history collection and physical examination so right do history collection and physical examination what is the rational to understand the general condition or general health of the patient implementation done history collection and physical examination and you can uh, write down the uh, information so, okay the result then next planning is monitor vital signs very very important vital signs monitoring in uh, cardiac conditions for what to understand the present levels or condition of the patient implementation recorded blood pressure heart rate and respiratory rate regularly and you have to mention the variations specifically then 
Next planning, monitor for signs of hypertension and bradycardia or tachycardia, depend upon the condition. Monitor for hypertension, tachycardia and bradycardia. While checking the vital signs, definitely you will get more information about bradycardia, tachycardia and or either increased heart rate or decreased heart rate. For what? To prevent the complications in implementation, monitored and recorded in frequent interval. What? For this hypertension, bradycardia, tachycardia, etc. The next thing is track oxygen saturation. Oxygen saturation, you have to check, okay, pulse oximetry, okay. So you, you have to track the oxygen saturation for what? To ensure adequate oxygen delivery. If there is any shortness of breath or dyspnea, if it's going to the severe level, okay. What is implementation? Track the oxygen saturation and record it properly. Guys, you have to record it properly. That's very important. Then. Administer medication as prescribed. Very, 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 very essential thing. Medications in cardiac conditions. Okay. What is the rationale to improve the myocardial function and cardiac output? Implementation, administered cardiac medication. Any medication, like you cannot write specific cardiac medica medications. Diuretics, beta blockers as ordered. Then Next planning, provide oxygen therapy and patient response to therapy. Two things you have to observe. You simply, you cannot give oxygen. You have to give oxygen uh, at the same time. You have to observe the patient's response to oxygen therapy. That's the next planning. What's the rationale? To maintain optimal oxygen saturation and reduce the workload of the heart. Implementation, supplied supplemental oxygen and observe the response to the therapy. Next planning, encourage rest and physical activity while also assessing for any signs of activity intolerance. Rest is compulsory in cardiac conditions, okay? So you have to you have to encourage rest and physical activity while also assessing for any signs of activity intolerance. For what? To reduce the cardiac workload. In implementation, encouraged gradual increase in activity as tolerated and monitored for signs of fatigue or dyspnea. Okay, you have to write like this only for this uh, care plan. Okay, then next thing is uh, monitor fluid balance. That's very, very important. For what? To prevent the overload of your heart. Then what is the implementation? Monitored intake and output of fluid to ensure fluid volume is balanced. Also administer diuretic as needed for fluid volume excess so specific planning and specific implementation you have to write for uh, this uh, uh, particular uh, nursing diagnosis then next planning evaluate laboratory results for what to understand the abnormal values that can exhibit decreased cardiac output in planning you can write evaluated or monitored lab results such as electrolytes potassium sodiums sodium potassium definitely you have to monitor the next planning is educate the patient and family and teach the patient the importance of medical adherence and early recognition of symptoms. Educate the patient and family. That's very, very important. If they get some pain or some radiating chest pain or kind of dyspnea, kind of weakness or fatigue or dyspnea, definitely you have to consult your doctor, consult your physician, consult your practitioner. So you have to educate the patient and family and teach the patient's importance of medical adherence. Adhere with the medical guidelines okay medications and rules what time you have to take how in which interval you have to take and early recognition of the symptom okay early recognition can reduce severe complications what is the rationale to reduce the cardiac workload and also reduce the risk then in implementation provided education on lifestyle changes such as low sodium diet weight management and smoking cessation so educate the patient and family uh, means you have to educate. So in implementation, you, you have to specifically write what you have educated, provided education on lifestyle changes such as low sodium diet, weight management, and smoking cessation. Next planning, evaluate the patient's ability to engage in activities. That's also very, very important planning. For what? To assess the heart health and patient situation. Okay. Implementation evaluated the patient's ability to engage in activities without undue fatigue, dizziness, or dyspnea. And what will what would be the evaluation? The patient will maintain regular cardiac functioning with regular or normal vital signs. Okay, so this is the 
nursing diagnosis and care plan for decreased cardiac output guys hope you understand and next time we'll see with another nursing diagnosis and care plan thank you guys bye